Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas at the HIMSS conference, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Ford Parsons, Chief Analytics and Innovation at Providence Health. Ford, such a pleasure to be with you here today. Ryan, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, this is great. Absolutely, let's dive in. Providence serves communities across over 50 hospitals and over a thousand clinics. How has your analytics approach evolved to deliver actionable insights directly to frontline caregivers? I think the evolution of the past couple of years, I think of it like a thermometer turning into a thermostat. I love that. So you've got a thermometer, it can take the temperature in the room. We've got our, uh, our descriptive statistics that show what's our length of stay. We're starting to see now, we're moving into that thermostat zone. So not only does some thermostat measure the temperature, it can influence the temperature. So we have things like predictive models that can impact some of the, these metrics we're looking for. Or we can look at uh, large language models and integrate them into the clinical workflow. Again, you're changing the things rather than just reporting on them. You've been implementing innovative solutions to address physician burnout. Can you share some specific examples of how data and analytics are helping reduce administrative burden for your clinical teams? Sure, at Providence, one of our biggest challenges is the in-basket management. So when I talk to my doctor, I, I don't want to call them. I want to <laughs> send a message. Um, but it, that does create some operational challenges for the healthcare system. Uh, so we've built a, a product that you know, reads through all the messages, assigns some categories to them, that allows nurses and MAs to uh, handle the message that's most appropriate for them. A new symptom, it's gonna need a nurse. Right. Uh, hey doc, what time does the, does the clinic open? You don't need a nurse, you don't need a nurse in the first hour to, to respond to that. And now that we've deployed that, we've seen improvement in turnaround time for messages, uh, up to 50% in some of our pools. We've seen a decreased number of messages inappropriately make it to the doctor. Uh, that's a real big source of burnout when the doctor's staying late after work and now I have to answer all these questions that probably could have been answered by someone else. Um, and so that's the kind of thing that we're able to do uh, using AI, using data. We couldn't have done it without a whole bunch of messages to annotate and, and validate against. Uh, once we can bring it into the clinic, it makes everyone's lives a lot easier. It's very much a win-win on both sides. Thank you for that. Ford, how are you currently leveraging AI at Providence, and what are some of the tangible results you're seeing from these initiatives? I think the two main AI priorities for us right now are in-basket management, like I mentioned, uh, and also documentation burden. We've got doctors that went to medical school and are really empathetic and smart people, and we've got them doing data entry and, and typing away doing clerical work. Seems inefficient. Yeah, <laughs> and so that's one thing that we've partnered with Microsoft on their DAX platform, is an ambient solution. So you just put a microphone in the room, doctor and patient have a, a human exchange just like we're having, and the whole thing's keeping track of it and writing the doctor's note uh, while they're having the discussion. This has resulted in uh, you know, fewer hours in pajama time. This is a real term we use in healthcare to measure the amount of time a doctor's at home typing away instead of spending time with their family. Surprisingly, we've also seen an increased number of patient visits Wow. If you're up to date on your notes, if someone comes in a little bit late or like, I, I need to be seen today, you can see them instead of and having to turn them away and, and have them come the next morning. So there's a lot of great things happening in, in AI and healthcare. Great to hear, thank you Ford. How has unifying your data strategy with the AI Data Cloud enhanced your ability to generate meaningful insights that directly improve the caregiver and patient experience? Well, I've been in this business for a while and I remember the, the bad old days where we had one database over here and one database over there. Uh, we've got all of our 50 hospitals, our 1,000 clinics. Everything's on the same Snowflake instance. And so we're able to connect things that were pretty hard to connect before. We also have other systems outside of our health record, patient safety systems, finance systems. It's all just to join away, uh, which makes things a lot easier from a data engineering perspective and from a data science perspective. I'd also say the, the dashboards and the streamlet capabilities have really made it a lot easier for us to go from uh, idea to insight. We don't have to mess around with a bunch of fiddly tools. It's just right there, uh, really easy to, to get things visualized for our stakeholders. Great to hear, Ford. Providence has a century long legacy of compassionate care. How is your data foundation preparing the organization for healthcare's digital future? I think there's probably two things. For, I mean, I've, I've mentioned DAX a couple right. of times. So, uh, there's another component that makes me think about how AI is actually going to help create more empathetic and uh, compassionate patient and provider situations. 
So there's a, there's a product we're working on called Empathy AI. It's a simulator for, for doctors to get better at having really challenging conversations about end of life care, goals of care, that kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's part of the job, it's, it's, it's a very meaningful part of the job, but it's a challenging conversation to have. And so practice makes perfect, just like pilots do a flight simulator, we're uh, you know, giving doctors an opportunity to have real life conversations with simulated patients uh, to get better at these conversations to, to make the care better for their patients. Thank you for it. It's clearly all happening here in Las Vegas at HIMSS. What upcoming projects at Providence are you most excited about and how will Snowflake's platform support these initiatives? For me, 2025 is, is the year on doubling down on, on model monitoring. And we've already got you know, some predictive models as well as some generative AI models that really require some pretty vigilant monitoring over time. Uh, and we're building things out in Snowflake dashboards and Streamlit, monitoring these things 24-7 uh, to make sure that these models are, are safe and, and helping the people they need to help. It's an exciting next chapter for Providence. Thank you so much for joining me, Ford. My pleasure, yep. For the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.